is Phil Downs with HandmadeArtJewelry.com here with designer extraordinaire Barbara Garwood. Hi. And we're so excited to feature your line yes. at HandmadeArtJewelry.com. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you're doing this. It gives me an opportunity to tell everybody about the jewelry. And thanks for squeezing us in. Mm -hmm. I know you just got back last night from a yes. jewelry show in mm -hmm. Boston. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Later this week, you're on a live TV program, mm -hmm. and uh, we really appreciate your time. Sure. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, what is the Barbara Garwood story? How did your jewelry line get started? Well, the quick and easy version is I was working as a textile designer, discovered it in Hong Kong. I came back. People loved it. I always wanted to know where I got it. I went back and got some more. And then I wanted to trace where the, the artisans were. And I do a lot of volunteer work through my church, and I went to teach textile design in China as a volunteer for six weeks. Took the bracelet over there and showed it to my interpreter, and we ended up meeting people, and I found out that it was uh, available in Shanghai, and then I asked him to trace it back to, to the native village for me. And it took about four months to do that, and one day I got pictures and prices in the mail, and I ordered it, and that was the beginning. Now, when I look at the pieces, there's a wow factor. I yeah. say, I, my first reaction is, how do they make this? Mm -hmm. What is the craftsmanship behind the art? It's all done with tweezers, and each piece is hand done. Then they take all the shapes, they're fused together in the kiln. Um, that's the filigree part. And then the enamelers fill in all the different forms that are outlined already with powders. This goes in the kiln again, and it's fired at 1,500 degrees. Then they set the stones, which okay. I bring over there, or they're found and bought over in that area. And then the last stage is 24 karat gold plating onto the jewelry. I see. Now, is this art form thriving? Is it dying? What do you see the future of the art? Actually, it is a dying art. I'm probably, I am, the last designer to work with them. No one goes over there. It's in the middle of nowhere, up near Mongolia, off the Gobi Desert. So there's, um, not a lot of people want to do that. And uh, they just, I'm trying to preserve it, keep it going, keep them working. I have about 35 women who are working for me, so. It must be a really good feeling to yeah, support that. Yeah, it and is. The purchasers yes. of your jewelry are directly supporting that as well. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Now your tagline is experience the art, compliments included. Why did you choose that tagline? Well, as you know, the art has a great OMG factor, oh my God, the colors, the design. When people understand how it's made, they go, wow, it's such a beautiful craft. It's a beautiful art. I, I sell to a lot of museums also. So there's that part, experience the art. And when women wear it, they get lots of compliments. Um, they tell me, everybody stops me all day long, either at the drugstore or the bank. Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? So um, I figure something that gives you continual compliments, the compliments are included. So that's how I came up with that. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you again for squeezing us into your schedule that's and joining right. us. This is Phil Downs with HandmadeArtJewelry.com here with Barbara Garwood, the one and only Barbara <laughs> Garwood. Thank you so much, Barbara. Okay. It's been wonderful to speak with you. Okay, thank you.